Michelle Wolf back with an even nastier attack on Sanders than before. This time, Sarah's prepared by the conservative Jew for rwnofficial.com. And that wannabe comedian is at it again on her new show, The Break with Michelle Wolf on Netflix, which is a cheap knockoff of The Daily Show. Michelle Wolf once again took another swipe at the White House press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. As previously reported during this year's White House Correspondents' Dinner, Wolf came under heavy fire for taking a jab at Sanders. Uh, looks that many believe as less a joke and more a shot at the press secretary's looks. But on uh, last night's premiere episode, despite previously telling Entertainment Weekly that her new show wouldn't rehash the events of the big event, she couldn't contain herself but address Sanders uh, during a monologue about the recent appointment of CIA Director Gina Haspel. Wolf said that after Gina was nominated, my best friend Sarah Huckabee Sanders tweeted, any Democrat who claims to support women's empowerment and our national security but opposes her nomination is a total hypocrite. Wolf said, well, if anyone's an expert of hypocrites is Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And for the record, that was not a looks-based joke. That was about her ugly uh, personality. Uh, she has the Mario Batali of personalities. Wolf has apparently, uh, was apparently replying to this tweet from Sanders dated May 5th, but she has her new show now on Netflix. All the liberal loonies are on Netflix now. You wonder what's taking place for the young, younger generation that does not keep track of all of this. Uh, brainwashing. So, for those of you who aren't aware of the Batali uh, saga, he built a restaurant em empire and was forced to resign as CEO after he was accused of uh, sexual misconduct allegations by multiple women. The restaurant empire is now said to be crumbling. Here is more on Batali via ABC News, Mario Batali's three restaurants on Las Vegas Strip will shut down amid investigations into sexual assault allegations against the celebrity chef, his company announced Friday. B&B Ristorante, Otto Enotea, a pizzeria, and Carnevino Italian Steakhouse all located on a luxury complex that includes swanky casino resorts on the Las Vegas Strip will permanently close July 27. Batali and Bastanich B&B uh, Hospitality Group, uh, which Batali helped found, announced the closure in a letter to employees Friday morning. Okay, the restaurants have continued to succeed and they are a tribute to every one of you who works in them and brings a great dining experiences to our guests. B&B &B Hospitality Group partner Joe Bastanich, or whatever, said in a letter obtained by ABC. What does all this have to do with uh, Wolf here? I mean, really? I really don't care what's going on so the un unidentified woman featured in a 60 minute segment really anyway um who cares about batali we're talking about wolf here so getting back to on topic uh not really sure what an alleged sexual predator has to do with sarah huckabee sanders but okay yeah what does that have to do with uh Sarah Sanders, it must make sense up there in the twisted little brain Wolf possesses. It's not only Wolf, they're telling her what to say. Oh, in other words, they're calling Donald Trump a predator. I mean, that is long, you know, like that's like what? Anyway, 
Of course, our press secretary is way, to cla uh, way too classy to even reply or acknowledge this unfunny wannabe who will never win any beauty titles herself. But what's even more important here is what is going on with Netflix lately. That's the what you should be reporting on. What is going on with Netflix? They're, they're brainwashing the younger generation that doesn't pay attention to what is going on. They're just uh, watching shows and they think it's funny. That's basically it. I am uh, not for calling for boycotts of anything, uh, but for some reason it's uh, just starting to seem like Netflix is begging for it at this point in time. Already people are boycotting it. What are they talking about here? First they give this woman her own show, of course they would. And then they sign the Obamas to produce content uh, for them. Uh, what do a failed community organizer slash president and a second-rate first lady uh, know about producing content? Let's be honest, it's just one more way to further the agenda and Netflix has chosen to be their vessel. Sure, and you're going to tell me that that Avant person is the one that contributed about 600k for this Netflix? No. That's not enough money. It's uh, it's Soros money. It's got to be. There's no way 600 grand is going to cover the Netflix. This is what they're preaching to the young people that have no idea what is going on. And they're with the Mario Batali, uh, they're talking about Trump in a roundabout way without mentioning him. That's basically what they're doing. And uh, they're pumping this one like to the high heavens. Let me put it to you this way. Uh, when you turn on Netflix, it goes right to her right away. It goes, they're pumping her now. And then it's going to go to the Obamas, just like they were doing when Obama did that Letterman thing. Uh, I would just pass right over it. And uh, they always pump it. And if you want to look at something else, uh, all of a sudden, Netflix doesn't work. You have to go back in order to go back to see uh, their propaganda that they're pushing. Just like, uh, you know, um, these people are, they're just deranged. That's all. And that's what the, the, the teenagers are watching today. That's bottom line. So they're indoctrinating the kids in school. Then they're indoctrinating the kids with the music the movies, the celebrities, and that's what's basically going on to get them thinking uh, liberal, like a demented liberal uh, mindset. That's it. And you try to talk to them and tell them this, hey, this is going on. They don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. Believe you me. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.